Hello, hello. Howdy. And welcome back to the Strange Magic Update, everyone. Oh, shit. We watched 30 more minutes we of did. Strange Magic. Still haven't finished the movie. Oh. Still haven't finished the movie. We just watched another 30 minutes. I held out as long as I could, <laughs> and it was just it just got to too much. Look, I can't wait for them to start singing I Need a Hero. Oh. Or holding it, out for a hero. Is want, that what it was? It's holding out for a hero. Yeah. I... It wants to be Shrek 2 so bad. <laughs> this movie wants to be Shrek 2 so fucking bad. I think DreamWorks wants it's trying to be Shrek 2 so bad. I think so. You know, they hit gold once. Yeah, they're like, hey, we can do it again. And, and they've, they've never, never been, been able, able to. to do it. Sorry. I mean, How to Train Your Dragon was pretty good. But that's a Chris Sander movie. <laughs> does that disqualify you? It does. Because Chris Sander's films feel like chris sanders films and not what studio he's he's doing at. stuff for mm, mm-hmm. you know because you know we have lilo and stitch true how to train your dragon and the crudes yeah those don't feel like movies that are a part of the studios they're a part of they're just kind of chris sanders movies it's true yeah mm. do you do you like the songs they chose for um strange magic no are these not good so songs f- i mean like um the ones that come to mind, I did. They definitely did crazy little thing called love, but because it's in this movie, it sounds awful. <laughs> um, they haven't done creep yet. I know. Thank God. <laughs> thank fucking God. <laughs> uh, but he's gonna I, sing it now. Is it the gnome? Oh, I bet it's gonna happen though. I keep calling him a gnome. He's, he's the an elf. elf. Yeah, but he looks like a gnome. I know. He has the gnome hat. But they're elves. Okay. There's elves and fairies, but man. They're gonna do it too. I just fucking know it. You're just gonna hear just like, if you were here before. It's like shut up. I'm going to shoot myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not looking forward to finishing Strange Magic. I am. Well, I'm looking forward to for it to be over for us not have to watch it anymore. I think it's so exciting. Like that movie is kind of magical, right? Because it's one of the worst movies I've seen in like the modern era, uh-huh. that decade of film. Okay, right? right. But there's something like, hmm, how do I word this? George Lucas, right? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. That man has so much unchecked ambition, and yet his products get released, and so you get to see that unchecked ambition yeah. of bad products. Mm, mm. And I find that deeply humorous. Reasonable. Like, I have a good time. Always always for a good laugh just watching a, a Lucas film. Yeah. But you can also, like, see how, like, what they're doing, right? Because he's he's really pushing. So whatever product he's making, he's pushing. Yeah, he's going all in. He's yeah. full tilt. Yeah, and I'm just like, so much went into this. Mm-hmm. And so much passion went into this. And it is awful. <laughs> <laughs> the dark side of passion, if you will. And I'm sitting there like mouth agape, smiling, going like, I just can't believe. It's so fun. <laughs> I I am here for it. It is amazing. Like, like you know how um, Hideo Kojima, uh-huh. right? His unchecked ambition is the most like unhealthy, I'm smarter than you bullshit on the planet. Yeah. While Lucas's unchecked ambition is, look how cool we can make it. Yeah. And there's kind of something, there's, it has such childlike wonder to it, that mm. even though it's like a bad product, I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> you, you, it's not quite train level of, I can't look away, yeah. train wreck, but it's kind of just like. You, I'm so glad they so got the curious. opportunity. I, I'm so yeah. glad they got the opportunity to make it. Mm. Fair enough. Right. What a, what a kind way to phrase that. <laughs> it's like. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do I like looking at your product with my eyes? Not no. at all. No. But you know what? You're happy that it's out there. You're happy that you got to make it, and I'm I, happy for you. You know, when George Lucas said he was going to stop making movies, he said specifically he'll stop releasing movies, but he'll still make them for his friends. And I just like to think he just has movie months Mm. where like him and his friends sit down and they show each other short films that they've made and i wish i was privy (laughs) you're like i want to be in that club so i I want to know what they make well you could join it if you made short films josh no come on direct right no 
I would love to see. No. I would love to see a Mr. Josh production. No. A writing giraffe production. <laughs> writing giraffe studios with the uh, what is it the the kiwi the, logo? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on guys remember if you want to we got join the mr josh patreon that way we can put oh. writing giraffe writing giraffe studios together we've josh and i have talked about this for a long time you yeah see. yeah we need to make boss baby three <laughs> <laughs> we've got to call it, well we have to make it legally distinct no we'll be um they'll outsource they'll the outsource. production to oh, us sweet yeah we'll make future oscar winner boss baby, baby three. three keep the dream alive guys <laughs> help us keep the dream alive <laughs> fucking hell oh. <laughs> jesus christ i loved calling <sighs> boss baby two back in action future oscar winner yeah boss baby two. did it get a nomination it did not Damn, you can't even call it Oscar nominated. No, but I can call it Oscar snubbed. Boss Baby 2 back in action. Uh, Os- Oscar robbed. Oscar robbed. There we go. Oh my god. It's good. It's good. Oh, have you watched Back in Action? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh we'll have to watch it no i've never even watched the first boss baby let's go watch the first movie no and we have to watch the netflix show fuck i forgot there was a show yeah i don't want to do this the show is so curious that's not a good thing <laughs> that's the term i'm gonna it's use not, that show is so curious it's not always a good thing to be I'll, curious i just i'll never forget just like him angrily like you know boss right uh-huh. angrily yelling at someone over the phone slamming it back down going it's like arguing with north korea and then they just proceed to the next scene <laughs> and, uh, i'm just like who's oh this my God. i don't understand who these jokes are oh, for not for the kids <laughs> this is not for the kids i tell you that i remember like one of like the side characters like was talking with main boy right Mm-hmm. And then she like stops looking at like pro tag Chan, looks back at Boss, and just goes, "Boss, I didn't realize your brother was a liberal." Yeah, just yeah. a liberal. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't deal with that. I didn't just... realize your brother was a liberal. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> Why is it written like this? <laughs> oh, because Boss Baby is a red blooded capitalist American. <laughs> You know, that man do be based, red-pilled. Red he's going to be Joker-fied. He's, he's got to be a little older to be Joker-fied. Oh, we can get there. We got to have some tragicness going with in the parents. Oh, remember, we but... do get to see them in adulthood, though. Oh, true. So he is Joker-fied. Oh, we can get Joker-fied. It's true. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. He lives in a society. That was the society. He does. <laughs> you see, we live in a society. <laughs> And I own that society. I don't even know if it's a lie in the movie. What, we live in a society? Yeah. From Joker? Yeah. I assume... I've watched the movie and I don't remember. I assume that it was... Was that on the talk show? I'm pretty sure. That's where all of, like, the notable moments, except for the dancing on the staircase, came from. That's not a notable moment. (laughs) Damn, she's going crazy. That's a a cat over there. Wait, not we live in strange times. I want we live in... (laughs) In a society. Is this what we're doing? Are we googling this? <clears throat> it's a meme. Uh huh. Obviously. Should we do a watch along of that movie? Oh, of the, the, the watch a Joker. Phoenix Joker. Yeah. Gamer Joker slash Gamers Rise Up slash We Live in a Society. <laughs> what was the line from Batman Beyond? Like, <laughs> about the most oppressed Oh, yeah. Group. <laughs> uh, gamers, the most oppressed group in society. <laughs> Fuck. I love that scene so much. Okay, okay, we just like... Okay, so he does say the line in the movie. Okay. Okay, that's but I think he says it in Justice League. What? It's the Jared Leto Joker. What? I thought it was the Joaquin Phoenix one. We live in a society is finally said by the Joker in Justice League. Ah! Yeah, the clip sees jo- Leto's Joker straight jacket 
straightjacketed, uttering the phrase as a warning to Affleck's Batman. We live in a society, he says, where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right, Batman? We certainly do, Mr. Leto. <laughs> That's the article. I can't. I can't. So yeah, it's, can't. it's not even okay. The Walking Phoenix. Okay. It's, it's in a Snyder film. Of course it is. <laughs> so so we, we just jerked off Todd. Yeah, we jerked off together. Uh, a twig snap. I don't think we finished, so. I don't think so. Did he, we was he, he was leaking. He was leaking, but like, all right. that's not finishing. Eh, he it's probably never, enjoyed it. It's never satisfying. A twig snaps. Oh. We slide off of one another like we're in the opposite end of a magnet. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oopsie. Because, like, what's the explanation going to be with Todd with his shirt off? Okay, I look around. I don't see nobody. <laughs> I look at Todd, who's a flailing with the end of his belt like it's two heads of fighting snakes. I snatch my shirt from off of a bean and beam, beam, and toss it on myself and crouch behind a crate. He mouths, a, "Don't leave me," and I try to mouth, a, "You're just one person. It's fine." <laughs> Let's go. I love this. <laughs> More pine nettlers? Nettles. Nettles? Mm hmm. Is that like the sticks? Nettles is like, I think, a bunch of them. So instead of like a pine needle, mm -hmm. it's like when it's a bunch of them, it's nettles, I mm. think. Perhaps? Okay. A crunch as we hear somebody coming back out of the brush. Bush. Oh, oh. it's Marcy. Okay. She's like, I heard y'all were jerking off out here. That <laughs> sounds nice. I could smell it. No, the the dolls told me. Yeah, <laughs> oh, the dolls told me you were jacking off behind my shed. <laughs> the dolly said unspeakable I, actions were taking place. I don't know if I like that kind of thing. <laughs> um, what's not a surprise? What's not so surprising is that it's Marcy. But what is surprising is the blood running down her leg. Oh shit! Must be Tuesday. Whoa. Yeah. It's and then blood. we hear us some <laughs> <It's blood. laughs> What's that smell? An intoxicating aroma. It's blood. It's blood. Do you think Marcy knows why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch? <laughs> I love I love that man. I'm never going to stop quoting those man. I know we quote them all the time in parts. <laughs> yeah. I'm never going to stop. How does it feel, see? To be, to be a, a bitch. bitch. I will never stop. Recognize this daddy plant. Plague, please. Plague. I love you. Be on an episode with us. No. <laughs> they say never talk to your heroes, right? Yeah, true, huh? Never meet your yeah, heroes. Yeah, never meet your heroes. That's true. I'm okay, like, lovingly gazing from afar, mm -hmm. you know? He's just so pleasant to watch. Play, so do another Dark Souls listen. playthrough. No, that man can't take it. That man needs a break. <laughs> that man needs to retire. Like, <laughs> it's true. And then we hear something splash on the ground. Well, that was something going on. Oh, hey, it's this background. It is this background. Oh, hey. Are we going to see a fox pilot hanging from the trees? I still can't believe Todd spilled <clears throat> the beans on, on Huxley. If Marcy falls through, or we can't find any evidence of where the gun went, uh, we're out of uh, leads and probably out of time. Oh, I think we switched back over to William. Yeah. I'm pretty uh, sick of carrying around this pistol. Usually a weapon alone wouldn't connect with many people. <laughs> if I were the sort to believe in curses, I'd have this thing melted down after the conclusion of this investigation. I'd leave that up to Marcy, but she's not looking too good. It comes to the part of the road where there's, that's a three-way juncture. Mm-hmm. East to downtown, west to Peyton, south to the railway tracks. If there were a road directly north, I'd be, uh, I'd be at uh, Hendrix's Manor. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to investigate there, even if she's going to be there. Uh, I wonder what sort of game uh, he's playing with her. Did he put her to keep her away, or did he put her, did he put her there because he knew I'd be too stubborn to resist an investigation? Is he playing patty cake, or sorry, or Scrabble? 
playing some kind of game with her. Playing Boggle. Boggle. Yeah. Playing Boggle. I don't know why, but like the the only episode of King of the Hill I vividly know <laughs> is the Boggle episode. <laughs> I know I've watched more episodes of that show, but for some reason the Boggle episode is the oh. only episode I like no direct lines is it because from. is it because it's boggle i don't know the scene i always remember is when it's peggy right yeah when she's like one of her first rounds in like the tournament at the end she plays against the bobble chicken <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's just that that scene i see yeah i mean hey it's a good one the bobble chicken it's a good one yeah you should watch king of the hill it's really good i've watched a lot of it just watch it again. Because I, I watched it on TV. Mm-hmm. Cass really likes it, right? Yeah. I thought I remember mm. her being, like, actually, like, really into it for some reason. I don't know. There's this weird connection I have between her and, my, and, and King of the Hill in my head. It do be that way. Up ahead, I see something bright sticking up from out of the rocks. It's a discarded gum wrapper. Gum wrapper? Gum. Gum. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like the chewing kind. Tutti fruity. Oh, really? Huh? Oh. Blah, 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 bamboo. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't recall ever seeing Marcy chewing much gum. And Huxley was usually too busy with a bottle. Notebook. 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 Tutti Fruity. I'm Rudy. Blah, 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 bamboo. No. <laughs> no, this doesn't look old. <laughs> Makes you wonder who's been putting this stuff in their mouths. Mm -hmm. Afternoon, Lawman. Who dis? Oh. oh, why are you here, I, bro? Mm, Sir, why are you here? Mm, He's strapped up too. He got himself a gun. Got himself a nice big old piece of iron. Have that? I'm assuming so. Yeah. I don't remember it, but this is such an aggressive design. It's it's really just coming for you, isn't it? <laughs> it's coming for you, and it's coming for you. You know. <laughs> Jesus. No, uh, I take a big step backwards. Christ on a cracker. Ain't you a sneak? Who voiced him? I think you did. Did I? I feel like you did. Okay. I, I don't recall again. reading for both. <laughs> Wouldn't it be satisfied with myself if it wasn't? That's enough tomfoolery. This path's something of a detour from the main roads. What's a fellow like you doing all the way about out here? Truth be told, I wasn't looking for you. Looking for me? How did you know I was going to be here? It trailed you. Trailed me? Bit suspicious to admit that, yeah? More than a bit, but I'm impatient. Why can't... Oh, why come there... Wait, why come there's mm -hmm. such... Yeah, that's a that's a, a a way you say that sentence. Why come there's a lack? Yeah. Okay, so we would like today say like how come? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, why comes there uh, much of there's such a lack of boundaries posted up in this area? That's bounties or boundaries. Bounties. Okay. He's a bounty hunter. <laughs> a man's got to eat, as well as wet his whistle. He's Kane the bounty hunter. Okay. Okay. You look. Plenty well fed to me. And I regret to inform you that we're a bit of a podunk. Not a whole lot of high profile criminals to apprehend around here. So. Oh, sorry. Not much needed for any bounties. <laughs> that tale's a bit. a bit different from the ones I hear. He plucks a piece of grass off of the side of the road and twists it between his claws. <laughs> Your family's sell, uh, selling off houses. Your coal workers, all up in arms. And now a banker's turned up dead for sure. Eavesdrops eavesdropping on us, were you? A trouble in times, Mr. Adler. What do you want, stranger? I think you missed the part where I told you I'm very a food-motivated sheriff. 
Oh, William, do be a, a piece of bait. Mm -hmm. Cut me off a piece of that. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a bounty, and I'll be happy to deliver a head. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> Two heads uh, within a day, and they can even be alive if you're one of those bleeding heart types. Only thing that's bleeding is my stomach from the ulcer you gave me. Scram. Oh, come on now. Don't be such a, uh, a poor sport. I know how much y'all rely on bounty hunters, so there's no need to be so prideful. I've helped plenty of lawmen in the course of my career. And how many of them are dead or scandalized now? Only the ugly ones. It gives you a little wink. A little winky? <laughs> Charmers don't last long around here. Who says I plan to stick around that long? I just need a few names, a few pictures, and a fatter wallet. And I'll be merrily out of your fur. I'll let you know names once I have some. He whistles. I didn't take a man with that many scars for being a slacker. Jesus, Kane. I'll take an extra nap today and think of you. <laughs> you can't be dumb enough to turn down help when it's sitting in front of you. You're stubbornly ar wait, you're stumbling around. I'm hungry. And bored. Uh, let's come to an understanding. I need information more than I need a maniac pumping lead into suspects right now. <laughs> That's always part of the job. No killing, no violence. Do we have an understanding? Unfortunately. Okay, then. I unclench my fist and show him what's inside. This your gum wrapper? He blinks at the uh, pack I hold up for him. More uh, more than a little deris, derisively? Derisively. Derisively? Yes. Okay. Sure ain't. That's all I've got to go off right now. You've got to be fun in me. Funny in me? Fun and funny in me. Do I look like the funny sort to you? <laughs> I mean... Willy boy. Funny looking, maybe. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine. He says, let me get a whiff of that. <laughs> oh my I can work with that. What's my rate? An eagle, if you can tell me something useful. He whistles. Not a bad start for just a little word of mouth. I'm not bullshitting you, you know. I'm good. Guess we'll see. Notebook? Notebook. Attends. Oh. Handsome. That just looks like a buffer Murdoch. <laughs> yeah, but I'm here for it, though. <laughs> Here's how we fix Murdoch. <laughs> just beef him up a little bit. Just, just, stick, just stick the tire pump on him. Just a couple pumps. <laughs> and then there you go. Yeah, on the top end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, you can give a little more cake. We, we, we like some cake. We like a little, little handful. Oh, okay. Little grab. Little grab and grab. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> uh, do I feel like making a mistake? Maybe. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Give him the DreamWorks okay. face, I see. <laughs> No, he's, he's not he's doing not, no. the Dwayne the Rock Johnson TikTok eyebrow raise. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I feel like that's what people think of with the eyebrow raise now <laughs> than the uh, the DreamWorks. The, race. Yeah, mm -hmm. specifically with the uh, the Vine boom sound effect. Yeah, you know? I agree. A little sad. We're in different times. Mm -hmm. We're in different times. Such is the way. Uh, I walk away, leaving him in the weeds and the creek as I push past infant 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 pine trees uh, back in the direction of the house but i hear a small crunch where i thought i'd heard and uh, hear nettles i don't like that you don't like the word like nettles? nettles no no can't mm -hmm. tell you why is it because it looks like needles and you don't like needles i think it's just because it looks like needles and i keep 
wanting to say needles. Mm, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't like that. That's reasonable. I don't like when words, camouflage is other words. Camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> reasonable. No, that's fair. That's fair. I can't blame you. I look below my feet and can tell what uh, that what I'm stepping on isn't any plant debris. Almost. Debris. Debris. There you go. Dragon. I look like a small it looks like a small tube with a spool on the end. A weird place for something like this to be. Notebook. notebook. That notebook's getting a workout. It really today. is. This looks like one of the film roles Murdoch used before. Mm, I see. Okay. Litter. Murdoch trying to muscle into the route again. Yeah, I know. He's just here. They're all kind of just here to stay for the ride. I feel like that's like the only reason why I don't like Murdoch is he just like keeps pushing his way into like it's literally all of them. every route. Yeah. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he pushes himself into his own route. No, wait, I haven't been on screen for three sl- for three slides. I have to be here. Like when he showed up in Nick's route, I was actually ready to suplex that man <laughs> into the mines. <laughs> But he played guitar for us. It was so sweet. Oh, yeah, and that could be in Murdoch's route. <laughs> but what reason would we have to go to the bar of, of workers? He's gay. Well, true. That's true. Hey, Samuel, I know a great place to get a drink. Hup, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> there, now you're there. <laughs> 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 it's not that hard. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, probably worth noting. Once I'm done sketching it and put it in my pocket, I take a look at my watch. So, so he, he does. does sketch so he does it. sketch it. Yeah. He's doing all. Did, <laughs> the idea that he's talking to Kane and he and pulls sh- out his notebook and he's just sketching Kane while chatting with him. He's giving very man from LA Noir. What's his name? <laughs> I've never played LA Noir. Oh, we should play it. Doubt. <laughs> X to doubt. <laughs> that's that's the only thing I know. Yeah, I mean that's all that really came out. It's, it's press X to doubt. You got your press F to pay respects from um that was a Call of one Duty, of the Call of Duty it? games. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Doubt's so much funnier. X to doubt. <laughs> press X to doubt. No, my favorite is press X for Jason. <clears throat> Jason. Well, because we someone made like a whole parody song called "Press X for Jason." That's amazing. Well, yeah, you should look it up after during the intermission. I'll have to look at that. Yeah, yeah. Um, once I'm done sketching, yeah, we watched read that. It's a uh, six p.m. there, so it's four p.m. here. And time to head back. Ooh. Are we, are we gonna are we stumble doing? upon what some? What are we doing? Sometimes. Some actions. Oh, oh, oh yeah. It's just her. That's okay. right. She's fucking dying. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's just, it's just like a girl dying. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ayers, I'm dying. Whatever. <laughs> Help, I've fallen and can't get up. Goes full, goes full, full squall. squall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. I, I don't know if that's squall, actual di- I don't know if that's actual dialogue. Oh. Her going like squall, I'm dying. Whatever. But it's one of my favorite images. I love that, I love that image. No, it's so my, funny. My favorite, I have no idea what's happening in the scene. He's just holding Renoa or they're like in a cockpit of a thing together, and it just says like <laughs> what was it? That's not a chicken wing, that's just a saucy chicken nugget. <laughs> It's just a saucy chicken it's nugget. It's just a saucy chicken nugget. Oh, I like that. <laughs> you know, I'm like, that's fake dialogue, but that's also very squall core. And it sounds so applicable to so many <laughs> situations in your life. Yes. It's like, no, it's a spicy sauce. It's a saucy chicken wing. It's just, <laughs> that's I'm going to start saying wing, that. That's a saucy chicken nugget. I'm going to start saying that that's a saucy chicken nugget. <laughs> Ooh, that's one saucy chicken nugget. Oh my god. Well, Marcy Green inhales slowly, then lets out a shriek that goes well beyond the boundaries of her property into Lake Emma. I can't tell if she's screaming at us or from pain. <laughs> Jesus. Why are you shirtless? <laughs> she stops bleeding for a moment yeah, to question. Uh, yeah. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Were you guys being gay on my property? <sighs> Terrible. Terrible. Without inviting me? Oh, God. Fuck. 
Oh, a Todd a crab walks several feet away before scrambling to his feet, chest heaving. A Marcy crouches, a squeezing her eyes shut, looking into the sky and yowls. Hey. A bird's above us, a caw as they disperse. Ma'am, are you okay? Are you okay? I look at Todd because I can't believe he just asked that. And he looks at me in a daze. Look, the SNK fans will laugh at that. Are you okay? <laughs> Have you heard him in um, Smash Bros? No, I don't play Smash Bros. True. That game is for... I can't say that on this wholesome yeah, Christian channel. Not on this wholesome Christian channel. <laughs> um, when you play as Terry, he says he's, he says it... Like quickly, like during. Are you okay? Like, Are you okay? He like says it during, and then oh shit, what's his? He does like a fire move that on the ground. I can't remember what's what it is. Does he? Does he do um rising tackle? I think so. I don't play. I don't play Terry because I can't play fighting game characters, especially in Smash. Well, yeah, because you don't play fighting games. Correct. So you have to play a party game instead. Correct. <laughs> I don't even care, man. That's fine. I have don't... fun. Have your thing. Do your thing. I will. Yeah. Um, I'll be playing Guilty Gear off to the side. <laughs> the real man's world. The, yeah, actually. You, <laughs> you play your boy game, Street Fighter, Tekken, for children. I have a friend that's really into Tekken. Yeah. They play, like, hours a day. Hell yeah. I mean, Tekken's good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's well, pretty good. Tekken Tag Tournament's good. No, it's not. I look at Todd because <laughs> I can't believe he just asked that, and he looks at me in a daze. She cries out, sinking to the ground on her knees as a pool of something uh, dark expands below her. No oh, shit! Uh, that... I only realize right when that, right now what's happening. What the hell do you think you're doing? She's in labor. <laughs> okay. Yep. The fuck do you mean she's in labor? No, I don't think I stuttered. We all let's out a slur of curse words. A slew of curse a words. Slew. Okay. A slur. <laughs> he lets out a slur. William slurs. <laughs> no one's surprised. No one's surprised. Todd, go inside her house and get her cl a clean sheet. I, uh, um, okay. He runs a little stiffly as his thick tail trots behind him. Uh, William holds Mrs. Green, uh, who is uh, shaking violently. Deep breaths, ma'am. Help me move her, Sam. I try to get her un under one of the pine trees with the most shade, but the coppery smell of blood is making me dizzy. As she's leaving, a thin, splattery trails as she moves. It's not that overwhelming to smell blood. Get over it. Well, he's also got a sensitive animal nose. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Uh, do you have a, a midwife? Midwife? Mm hmm. What's a midwife? Midwife is someone who helps uh, women uh, give birth. Okay. Like, you know, you're not at a hospital with a doctor. Typically, you have a midwife who come, like, you get a midwife for if you want to, like, have a home birth or something like that. Oh, okay. And you don't want to just do it with yourself and your spouse. Can't. Um, you have a midwife who helps you give birth. Can't we just classify and that as a nurse? Kind of, but she's not, like, technically a nurse she didn't go to school for nursing she doesn't have a degree in nursing do you need that you can, to be a nurse yes you can go to school to be a midwife specifically but you're not a nurse because you know if you're a nurse you can do other things i mean you can be like can like backflips yeah if you're a nurse you can be like a labor and delivery nurse like that could be your specialty mm -hmm. but you can still do like nurse things like Check vitals, draw blood. <laughs> you can do nurse things. You can do nurse things, but... <laughs> Let me check your pulse. And this is just, like, my basic understanding of it. But... Okay, okay. I'm, I'm holding you accountable for this knowledge. Yeah, okay. Okay. That works. If she looks at me like she's lost and shakes her head and starts crying again. <clears throat> I hear Todd's footsteps as he races back with what looks like the tablecloth. <laughs> I check underneath her dress and gag from the sour smell. Her undergarments are soaked. We have to get those off of her. C can we do that, ma'am? She nods, still shaken. Todd looks, le looks at me like I'm the one who needs to do it. I shake my head and jerk it, <laughs> jerk it towards her, uh, giving him the 
the uh, hardest stare I must I might have given somebody in my life. Okay. All right. Well, now he's the midwife. Yep. Uh, Todd crouches, grimacing from the smell as he puts his paws below. I hear the undergarments squelch as he pulls them down, uh, sticking slightly and sticking slightly to the skin. Okay. I can tell from the marks on the side of her leg she has an infection. Don't try to push too hard. She shakes her head, a, still, a tear still welling out of her eyes. Tears. Tears? The tear is still welling. She's crying. Yeah. That's tears, brother. Yeah, well, you know, it's like the face tearing. Yeah, sure. It's fine. True. It's okay, Mrs. Green. You're gonna be a mommy. <laughs> And he's trying to be so good-hearted <laughs> no. about it all. <laughs> Why are you phrasing it like that? Why not? Uh, the rat starts... The rat? Rat starts wailing again. She's right. I keep thinking she's a mouse. Nope. She's raped. Rattle. Rattle. Rattle does More it. blood splashes to the ground. I think I see a head. Mrs. Green screams again. Mm. I definitely see a head. Will holds Mrs. Green's hand and, and she squeezes it. Now there's a body. Hold it while it comes out. I am, I am. Make sure the cord isn't wrapped around its neck. It's... Is that not supposed to happen? The baby can get strangled on it if you're not careful. It's sliding out pretty easy now. No, okay. I can see it too. The bloody and hairless with its well, it's bloody and hairless with chunks of pus coating the body and encased in a film in a thin film of mucus. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's small. Very small. Do we need to cut the cord? No need. It's good to let the blood flow through the cord, and the rest comes out later. It usually detaches by itself. How do you know that? Because I've seen this happen enough at work. But something's wrong. Will knows it too. There aren't any sounds. Will looks uh, stone-faced and Todd looks scared. I just cover my mouth, unable to look away from the scene of Mrs. Green's trembling while the sour smell, th smelly thing attached by a fleshy cord uh, below her legs doesn't breathe. Will hangs his head and pinches his no pinches pinches his nose and then looks at me. We need to keep her awake. She's lost a lot of blood. I, I knew they were dead. I knew it. I knew it. You don't have to worry about that now, Mrs. Green. But it's all my fault. It's not. This thing happens all the time. Trust me. I see it happen all the time. But it is, though. If it wouldn't have... If it would have lived... Uh, excuse me. He would have taken it. What? Taken it like he took me. Mrs. Green? If he was dead, then I could had I could have had this one. But uh, now there won't be another one. Forever again. For for never again. For never again. Her eyelids flutter before they close. Stay with me, Mrs. Green. Todd, go get her something to drink. Sit with her and keep talking, Sam. I'm going to go boil some water. He doesn't look back at us when he stood up and has his ta tan tawny tan tawny tawny. Mm -hmm. Tawny. In reference to the color. Like a lawn ta, Like a lawn. Lawny. Tawny. Sure. Yes. I guess so. A tail swayed behind him. A pricklin? Pricklin. Pricklin. I shake her shoulder to try to wake her up again. For the love of God, what is wrong with this place? 
I stumble around the kitchen that's cluttered with half-filled cups of soiled dishes, looking around for the biggest pot I can find. At least it's a new background. That's yeah. Cool. We see more of the greens as home. It's crazy. I wish they had photoshopped a bunch of dolls' places, though. Yeah, just That'd put them, be fun. Put them just there. Just yarn yeah. dolls. Mm -hmm. I open the cupboards to see what see what we have to work with. A mostly uh, sealed jars of perishables. And a jar of something else. I've seen this route before. Did, ooh. Notebook. Oh, okay. One of these flowers is definitely mugwort. 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 So she was making some poison. Is that what mugwort is? I think it can be used as a poison. Okay. So not a, it's probably not one you can ingest very good. Oh, okay. Did she really think this was better fate for them than uh, living with her husband? I'm afraid to think about the things Huxley Green might have been doing that I didn't know about. But there's no time for that now. There's a big enough pot below the below her stove. Todd's now, Todd knows exactly where the cups are. He finds a large jug of water in the pantry and turns the knob to let it flow. I turn on her sink and let the water begin to flow. Todd runs out with a cup in his hand. I'm surprised, but thankful that she has a gas stove so I don't have to light a fire or stove any... or stoke any coals to get it started. Uh, I have to find a place where Marcy can lie down. Her couch is so covered with those damn dolls that she has no place to sit. Sit on the dolls. On the dolls. Right. Ups wait, upsetting her further will just add stress. I go to her bedroom. Okay. What a interesting wall. I yeah. It is a choice. Mm -hmm. That's for certain. Mm -hmm. It's like mint chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes me not like it. What? I don't like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Uh, not a fan. That's understandable. Yeah. I got tipped a bag of Milano's, the cookies, at work. Milano's? Yeah, they come in that white paper bag that's about like this tall. They're like those little vanilla looking cookies that are like ovular that are about yay big okay um and he gave me a bag of the mint chocolate ones and i'm mm -hmm. like oh thank you how kind and then you regift and i mean i tried them i ate like three and i'm like i can't do this mm -hmm. you let me, oh you're showing me yeah i want to show you what the milanos okay, i want to see what the cookies these guys oh these are the milanos oh i've never had this brand no you haven't no they're very good the it's like a nice soft biscuit kind of cookie very okay, soft okay um and the thin layer of chocolate inside mm. is usually really good but i had the okay. ch mint chocolate ones and i just mm -hmm. didn't like them very much mm -hmm. no i get that like i'm a big fan of mint chocolate when i'm also like the only one in my family right that likes that kind of thing mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's well more for me yeah like anytime i saw like a mint chocolate thing in the pantry i'm like well it's all it's literally for me <laughs> that's for me <laughs> That's for me. Right? It's a little convenient that way. Yeah, I understand. Thankfully, it's a little less cluttered than her living room. But her bed. More dolls. No. Uh, that's just one big uh, lump beneath the sheets. It do. Huh. I was worried about that. I was hoping that was just, like, part of the background and wasn't going to be, like, acknowledged. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if I can uh, take it if it's a big doll that looks like Huxley. <laughs> Is it just Huxley? We. Oh wait, no. We he had. He, yeah, he, we have his body. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Thankfully, it isn't. It's. Uh, I think she mentioned it's her uh, grand grandma's burial shroud. Oh. Huh. Okay. She shouldn't be sleeping with this. It's covered in mold. Oh. I. No wonder she's sick. Uh, I start to push it off the bed, but it has a weird feeling to it. It lands wetly on the ground and makes a noise that makes me want to gag. Uh. Oh, this bed is unsanitary. Well, her grandma's shroud was in the bed. I have a pretty good idea of what we'd find if we opened it. No. Probably grandma. Is she sleeping with grandma? No. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not even a little bit of a fan nope, of that. Nope, nope, nope. I kind of hate we that. We will end the part here, I think. Okay. We will see you around, everyone. You can think about this. Bye.